Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the second tier of brackets. Round two, if you will, of our ongoing tournament series to find the best NES game. Kicking off our first battle is our favorite pink puffball and the caboose of the original Super Mario Bros. trilogy. Join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which platformer moves forward in our tournament. It's Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Kirby's Adventure on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. We have made it to the second tier of brackets. Oh, man. Round two. So there are really four nervous. in this category. Eight players, four brackets. We're going to start off with another banger. The Super Mario 3 versus Kirby's Adventure. Oh, wow. Ha! Ah! Ah! That's uh, going to be uh, <laughs> oh, It gets worse as we go down the list. Uh, I want to point out uh, for the listeners or viewers, and also want to point out to you guys that I've been, uh, what I can, I've been playing on the Switch um, NES. Oh, yeah, yeah, doing some downtime. So that's that's what you're probably seeing in these Recording corners. and yeah. kind of getting your brain. And, yeah, instead of, well, not I wanted to have footage to put up so we could compare the two games. Yeah, um, absolutely. But whenever I, I start playing... I find myself getting hooked. Yeah. Like, I was playing Kirby, and I was like, hey, I'm just going to play these for like 10, 15 minutes, because that's about as long as these episodes are. And then I'll just cut it off. I look back. I was playing Kirby. I look back, and I had been playing for 20 minutes. Yeah. And I played Mario 3. I look back, I've been playing for Kirby's 20 minutes. Kirby's Adventure is so good. And My son yeah, is still playing it. Uh, I, my youngest son knows where he is now because of, because of my these. Anyways. This is a tough one. This is a tough this one. Tough. Because I, after playing these two very recently... Uh, I really like them both a lot. I know. And, no, and for really different great. reasons. Um, let's talk about music. Start on the list, yeah. Let's start oh, with music. Oh, God. <clears throat> Audio. I would be willing to say, man, this is, this is, I might regret saying this. I, I'm, I'm with you. I think I'm, I think I'm on the same wave. Wait, do it. Say it. Speak it. Kirby's got better music. Yes! It does! Kirby has better music. It does. Oh, like, yeah, by, by, a, by a small, small margin. Small margin. The smallest margin. It's just so good. Yeah. I was editing the, uh, the, the Mario the Mario uh, 2 versus Kirby dun, episode. Dun, 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 dun. Man, the Grape Garden song is, lives in my head so rent-free. Right. The, butter, the Butter Building song. Butter Building. They're, they're, they're all really good. Uh, but I mean, got some I'm not saying Mario 3 doesn't have good no. music. Mario 3 has really good music. It does. I just, I. It just has a lot of. Let me help. A you. lot of the music repeats. Yes, I was gonna say more, Kirby's, more frequently. Kirby's than Kirby. got the variety. Yes, yes. I think Kirby has on this one. It does repeat itself, but not nearly as much as as Mario Three. Visually, ooh, um, ooh. I think the way that Kirby Kirby's animated better. It has better animation, like with the crane. I dropping. feel like there's some better background stuff going on with Kirby. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, in the I, foreground, I, I'm picturing in my head. If you look at the, the, the viewers, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not sleeping. I think, um, I'm just, yeah, mm, I think it's I about one. What I think it's about one. What I think it's a tough one. They're both really good. They mm. they both look really great. Yeah, we agree. I think I think I'm gonna give the edge to Mario Three in this one. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. You think it looks better? Slightly. 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 I just think that Kirby has more. They're, 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 the NES has a color problem, right? Yeah, Because yeah, you can yeah. only have so many colors on screen. Right. I feel like Kirby has more of a muted palette. Yeah. He does pastels. Whereas and... Mario's a little bit more colorful. Right. I think that yeah, would be... Agreed. I think that's the... The, the, the color pops yeah, a little better. Yeah. But I also think that Kirby has a little bit more going on on screen as yes, far as, what, like... That's what I was trying to say. Flowing water mm -hmm. and... You're on an airship level and the wind's blowing yeah, by the you. the wind and, and, and character, like the electric enemy shooting off the sparks mm -hmm. and stuff. I feel like... Kirby has the U, a, a the UFO a, level. It's like all neon, yeah. uh, negative. Yeah, effects. I think Kirby has more a, a higher level of detail, whereas Mario has a more colorful palette. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, it balances out to where I can't pick one or the can't, other. That makes sense. With yeah, for me, it's fair. a tie. Uh, story. I think uh, Kirby might have a better story. You know, you got you got the, the nightmare monster. Yeah. You know, you got King DDD. I mean, that, look, both these stories are, are not that great. No. But but it's going to be hard to find a compelling story in the NES. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Not unless you play Final Fantasy. Except Final Fantasy, but they're the outlaw. Which we might talk about later. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what we talked about. We haven't found that one yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but I think. You know, with, with with Mario, I mean, you don't even really know that. Like, it's just assumed that. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go see the yeah, princess. Yeah, pretty much. Like, like, I didn't even know that it was a stage until I, an adult. Like a stage play. A stage play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, and it's. I think that's just like a. 
like a cute tongue and cheek joke. It is, but, but like at the same time, like it, the game starts, it doesn't even tell you like Mario been kidnapped. So you start, you're like, yeah, yeah. I gotta go say the princess. Duh, it's, it's Mario. That's what we do. Yeah, all right, let's all we do. One. But with Kirby, there's more of like, oh, you gotta go get the star rod, and like you live in this little Kirby universe where there's like this eternal darkness on the horizon. And it always comes in and, and starts the boss battle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, mechanically, okay, this is where it's gonna be tough. Yeah. I think that mechanically. Mario 3 takes the edge. Okay. Nice bit. Only because you have a lot more to experiment with with momentum. Yeah. Mario 3 has a, a sense of momentum that Kirby just doesn't have. Kirby, you're kind of... It's a more slower-paced game. Uh, I think the biggest difference is that with Kirby, you're eating... And you're doing His the copy, copy ability. The copy the ability. Big, the big, the big yeah. one this one. Yeah. Yeah, because you can choose to play the game by using the copy, copy abilities, or you can just spit it out and then, you know, swallow projectiles and shoot them back. It, it, the game doesn't tell you how to play. Or you can use those copy abilities to affect the world you're in, like the cannons, the fuses. The cannons, yeah, or being able to use the beam to reach through, mm -hmm. like, platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it kind of it, it encourages you to experiment. But that was the first time they had copy in Kirby, right? Because Kirby's, yeah. Kirby the, oh, <coughs> Kirby's Dream Land did not have copy. I don't the remember. Game the game Boy? Yeah. I think he's always had copy abilities. I don't know. I think there was one where he did not have copy abilities. Sorry, this is Kirby. Oh, that's all right. Um, so I think I think Kirby's always had copy abilities. But for the sake of this argument, yeah. there's only yeah. it's just these two. You games. make a really good point because but, that 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 Tanuki power, not Tanuki, the the, the Raccoon Mar is Tanuki. Tanuki, Tanuki yeah, yeah. Tanuki. The, the the being able to, or even be able without Tanuki, you, you can glide or you, you can fly. You can run. You can jump. You can, you can fly. You can pick up shells. Yeah. You can pick them up, yeah. You can pick yeah, them sideways. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, pick yeah. them against You're blocks. Right. You can find hidden blocks. You can find bonus levels. The frog suits. The frog the suit, statue being able to pass up. The everything. Hammer Brothers suit being able to get the items and hold on to them. The Tanuki suit was the one where he could turn into the statue, right? No, that's the regular. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the Tanuki. The that's regular. Like, which the one's regular, the Raccoon Mario? The Raccoon Mario. Leaf. Yeah, Tanuki Mario is him in the suit. The suit. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah you can turn into the statue. statue yeah, the or basically, you blend in the background. People will walk right past you. It makes you invincible for a right. certain amount of time. Um, yeah. I think I'm with you. I think I think I Mario think... three Mario three also has that great animation of like yeah. doing cutting the flips when you have the star. Yeah, that's um, cool. I think it also had the the cool secrets like mm -hmm. that you found out like on the wizard. You fly up and you go up and you get the whistle and you can yeah. warp. You can slide down hills. You can hold, yeah. you can hold his butt and slide on the hill and slide under bricks. I think they both had a lot of levels. Uh, I think that Kirby has like a variety of lengthy levels and short levels. Uh, I think Mario has kind of like a, a more consistent. Standard, run run yeah. time, mm -hmm. and you also have like levels that require you to go underground. Levels that have level of verticality to them. Uh, also, it had you know the different level types, like the underground areas, the yeah. overworld areas, the side scrolling, like the the scrolling, like it just goes no matter what. Yeah. Um, the airships, the different, like, the boss battles. Yeah. I'd say I'd say Kirby's got that. In the boss I think battle. Kirby's yeah, got the boss battles, but not by much. I think because like honestly. Like every every At the end of the day, you castle just... boss is the same Koopa. Pretty much, so yeah. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. The, the Koopalings had different mechanics, but at the end but of the I'd day, also be willing to say that you know Mario had those little bonus levels with the Hammer Brothers. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know you gotta you get you win you get the bonus item. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, were Boomerang Brothers in three as well? Or was that yes, till so yes, okay. yeah, Boomerang Brothers, uh, Hammer Brothers. Uh, I, I think this is tough. Mm -hmm. I think I think I gotta give the edge of Mario three though. I, I agree. Mar I, oh, I hate to do that, but yep. What do you think is a? Uh, it, it sucks because we've already talked about these at length yeah. before, so we, we've kind of covered all these points. Which one do you think is more revolutionary? I, Ooh, I'm gonna say Kirby. Kirby, I'm gonna say Mario Three. I'm gonna say Kirby because I feel like with the copy ability, that was just something that just hadn't been done before. I mean, yeah, he's basically um, using his enemy's power against them, and while that, I mean. I don't really know when that's ever been done before in that regard. You know, like there was... Oh, in other games now. Yeah, it's, there's, it's, there's it's some tactic thing. to... Ooh, I just thought of something. I'm sorry. Go in and get people, yeah. Can I say one thing about it? Multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mario three. Kirby, Kirby Mario three has player. yeah. Mar Mario three has multiplayer, and Kirby does not. True. They both have mini games as well. Uh, I think Kirby might. 
I don't know. I mean, man, it's tough because when, we, when we, you say revolutionary for its time, both of them do that. Kirby, other than if we're if we're taking the the Game Boy aside, Kirby was its all in stand up, but it was doing something like Steve said that was brand new. That's what affected me as a kid. I go back to again to kid brain, Jacob, mm-hmm. uh, with being able to I can change into these characters and do all this. But if we're talking about Mario three and the way Mario evolved from the first one, oh yeah, uh, it's and a, I, I yeah. just throw two away. It's a night and day difference with the mm. abilities that we just talked about, the overworlds, the uh, the different suits. Yeah, it's a yeah. night and day progression, and so ugh, I have to I have to give that to three in that regard, and I yeah. hate that. I hate that because they're right there neck and neck. I know it's it's close. It's close. It's uh, very close. Which one do you think stands the test time better, though? Ooh, I think they both do. They, I can't. I think they're equal on that one. Yeah, I really do I because can't. they they're not too. They're I'd be I'd be willing to enough. say I'd be I'll say something. I'd be willing to say that that just by once again the slightest margin I think Mario three might stand a little bit better because going back and playing it is that like with Kirby it just it gets the, framey the, it gets framey it's it, it's I mean it's pushing it was like the last yeah like one, hurrah, one of the yes. late one, yeah one of the last hurrah and also like just from a controlling like from I the controller to say. it's like. I don't want to like do it I don't want to say it's bad because it's good Kirby feels good to play yeah. mm-hmm. but using up to fly and A to jump and not being able to like it just it yeah. throws you off a little it bit can. Yeah. Where the controls are a little bit more it's the same thing with his underwater where he spits it's just a little bit butter, more buttery smooth on Mario 3 than it is Kirby I think that's what I'm trying to say well, well, I was going to bring this up <laughs> this is funny uh, the running joke with me is that I, I glitch. I yeah, have to yeah. find glitches in games. I've somehow passed that down to my son because he found a glitch in Kirby. Yeah, He's Kirby. like, Dad, what's wrong with my character? And he was in that squished, like, flat Kirby mode, yeah. and he was stuck at the top of the screen, and he had found this invisible, <laughs> yeah. found this invisible wall he couldn't get out of until he dropped out of it. Huh, and, and like you said, been, again, watching my son play that, and he's playing on the original uh, NES yeah. on a CRTV, and it gets... It it's framing. Mario 3 does not. It's a lot more concisely crisp game, so I have to stay. They both stand the test of time, but if we're going to give one, I, in my opinion, I think Mario I th- I think this said, is just, another, just edges it I, out. I, I think this is another one of those cases where Kirby's Superstar and Kirby's Dream Land 3 that came out on the Super Nintendo just ran with it a little better than yeah. Kirby's Adventure did on NES. Um, but I think that Mario 3, I mean, Mario 3, they just did it up a little bit better and made 16-bit graphics and threw it Mario's All-Stars and it's basically the same game. And lastly, which one represents the console? It's kind of easy. Mario. Yeah, it's got to be Mario. We don't even discuss that. Mario 3, yeah. yeah. Is it vote time? Yeah. Already? Mm Mm-hmm. Dang it. I'll go first this time. Um, this one was easy for me. Nothing against, nothing against the other one, just... Mario 3, man. I gotta go with Mario 3. Mario 3, in my opinion, was just a lot more... See, whenever I'm thinking about standing the test of time, I'm not just talking about... I'm not just thinking about being able to pick up a game as far as its quality. I'm also trying to think, like, how likely am I to pick that game out of all of the different kind of... All the different games from that series. Am I... How likely am I to pick that one? And honestly... When it comes to all of them on the Super on the Nintendo, it's pretty low. But Mario Three is actually pretty high. Yeah. I'm if I want to play a Mario uh, game, that's yeah. probably the second most likely game that I am to pick up and play if I want to play an old school Mario uh, platformer. Number one would be the original Mario Brothers. So I'd probably go Mario Brothers, Mario Three, uh, Super Mario World, um, and and with Kirby, Kirby's Adventure as far as the test of time, it's really low. Like if I'm a if I'm gonna have a craven to play a Kirby game, I'm gonna want to play like Kirby. Gosh, man, if we were talking about Kirby Superstar right now, mm-hmm. Kirby story. Superstar, yeah, man, Kirby Superstar. And so great game. that's not the only thing that I feel about it. Like, yeah, Kirby's got the better music. Kirby's got some gameplay mechanics that I like a little more. But at the end of the day, man, it's just Mario Three is, in my opinion, just that much better. Jacob, would you, you like to? Go? Would you like to vote? I, it's it's gonna seal it because. Is it Mario Three? I have to go Mario Three. I, I also choose Mario okay. Three. Okay, I feel. Gosh, it hurts. It hurts. It? What I wanted, I, I envisioned this in That's my head about Zelda, of me That's saying Mario Zelda. Three and, and going, just given that big pink, warm. He probably Puff feels ball. like a rubber glove 
I feel like just... Is that, is that what you think Kirby that, feels like? Yeah, I don't think he's fuzzy. I don't know. I don't feel like... But I just feel like I'm going to give him a hug and he's going to he's gonna make his... Ah! And it's going to be like, hey, it's okay, buddy. I understand. Dude. I get it. And Kirby's going to be happy either way because he's yeah, just that yeah, kind of guy. Yeah. Mario might throw a fit. I don't know. Maybe Mario's pretty happy. I feel um, like Mario's got anger problems in the background. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Maybe that's my cannon in my head. But anyways, Super Mario 3, it's just... It's... it's it's almost the poster child for this NES. Yeah, I agree. Almost. Mm. It, it would have be been arguable. if it wasn't for the first one. For the first mm. And I think if we didn't, mm. I think the audience <laughs> would probably come I'm, after us with pitchforks and Mario 3 is really good, dude. I mean, look, whenever we were making this list, the first, like, 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 like we said, hey, we need 16 of the best games. What goes on there? Uh, Mario 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mario 3 wins. Oh, that one was painful. Kirby sadly loses this time, and Mario 3 moves forward. How'd you feel about that? Are we wrong? Tell us about it in the comments down below, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share the show with everyone you know. Thanks so much for watching.